party i am bringing you certain questions from the subject industrial engineering that are asked in indian engineering services for those who are pro preparing for indian engineering services exam industrial engineering questions may appear very easy often but then when you start studying it you find that it is a bit tricky and time consuming here in this video i am going to provide you some sort of questions that have appeared in earlier exams and uh, might be the formulas will be helpful for you to score easily 5 or 6 marks so let's uh, start it let's start it Uh, here is the question that has appeared in 2015 Indian Engineering Services exam, which says, the annual demand of a commodity in a supermarket is 80,000. The cost of placing an order is rupees 4,000, and the inventory cost of each item is rupees 40. What is the economic order quantity? And then they have given you options, and you can see, I have marked red. Uh, that is option B, 4000 is the correct answer. Now friends, uh, actually whenever this kind of questions appear in the competitive exams, so most of the time we are, we, we take it like it is very much difficult, but it is very easy if we remember the correct formula. So, here you can see the economic order quantity can be found by using this formula in front of you that is Q is equals to under root 2 D S upon IC. Let me tell you friends that economic order quantity whatever answer you will get it will never be in terms of rupees it's a kind of quantity wherein an order can be made. So it, it is generally a number, like the number of products, number of commodity. So whenever the answers are coming, it will never be in terms of money, it will never be in terms of rupees, it will be always in number of items. It will The answer will be an integer, which will be telling you that what exactly is the number of product. So here in this formula, coming back, you can see the annual demand of the commodity, uh, commodity by the supermarket is 80,000. So you can think it as if 80,000 is the demand. Let us assume it as pieces. So the demand is 80,000 and the cost of placing an order. So you can consider it as the procurement cost. That is what we generally use. Procurement cost. That is the cost that is related with the placement of an order. It may contain various things like the paperwork involved, the various transportations involved. So the procurement cost or the cost of placing an order as given in the question is 4000 rupees. So be aware that 4000 is the only quantity which is in rupees and that is the procurement cost. And then you can see the inventory cost of each item is rupees 40. So in the formula you can see it is IC so in that IC that C is basically your unit cost and that is rupees 40 in this question they have not mentioned the inventory carrying cost I as they have not mentioned the inventory carrying cost I that means that I is 100% if suppose it is not given in the question you have to take the value of I is equals to unity now if you if you look at the formula and if you put the values so by taking that the value of i as unity you'll find the answer is 4000 pieces and that signifies quantity again so hope you understood this one uh, and you can be able to find the economic order quantity if it is asked so it's an easy question for one or two marks so do not lose the marks the only thing you have to remember is as the formula q is equals to under root 2 into demand into procurement cost 
divided by IC that is inventory covering cost multiplied by unit cost that has appeared in IES exam 2015 was regarding the exponential smoothing method it says the question says that the ex using is exponential smoothing method a car manufacturing company predicted the demand for that year as rupees 10 uh, that year as 1040 cars the actual sale was found to be 1140 cars if the company's forecast for the next year is 1080 what is the value of smoothing constant so friends this is also one formula kind of uh, question wherein there is only one formula and you have to put the values but before that you will have to understand that predicted the demand is basically forecasting forecasting is given like a company forecast certain demand that will be 1040 cars but the sale is 1140 so here you can see there is a difference between what was forecasted and what was the actual sale next year the company as again a forecasting for the next year is 1080 then rather than asking you that what will be the sale and you cannot predict it actually they are asking you for the smoothing constant that is alpha so friends the options for this question are 0.4 0.6 0.7 and 1.2 as a is the correct answer we have changed the color to red here is your exponential smoothing formula wherein fn is equals to fl plus alpha dl minus fl so here you can see fn fn is representing the company's forecast for the next year and fl will be representing the demand forecasting of the current year then there is add addition and finally you can see dl minus df is actual sale minus the forecasted demand for the current year or say the value uh, 1040 that was the forecasted and actual sale was 1140 if you take the difference and then multiply it with the smoothing constant and then you add the demand forecasting of the current year you will be getting the demand forecasting for next year so very clearly if you put the values So one zero eight zero is for FM, one zero four zero is for demand forecasting, and the difference, and then you will get the value of alpha as zero point four. So these two questions we have solved. These are based on industrial engineering. Uh, you can look around. That says that in an in uh, an organization has decided to produce a new product. The fixed cost for producing the product is estimated as. Rupees one lakh. The variable cost for producing the product is rupees one hundred. The marketing survey indicated that the product selling price would be rupees two thousand. The break-even quantity will be. So there are four options: one thousand, two thousand, five hundred, and nine hundred. So I have rounded up A as one thousand. That is the correct answer. And let me tell you why. actually whenever you are looking for break even quantity that is also again quantity like your economic order quantity economic order quantity or break even quantity both are basically quantities if suppose you set up a business wherein you have to spend say 1 lakh rupees and then there is certain cost that we call variable cost as the name suggests it keeps on varying so you cannot predict it now the mar uh, you cannot predict it now obviously the fixed cost and the variable cost that you cannot predict that is going to decide at what price you are going to sell something now the break even is a point wherein you are neither in profit nor in loss wherein a uh, number of times uh, i can give this example like if you suppose invest 100 rupees in total in a business let us consider the fixed cost as well as the variable cost and you are selling something at rupees 10 you are selling something at a price of rupees 10 that is your selling price obviously to get 10 uh, to get 100 rupees out of your business you must sell 10 products now this 10 products are your break even quantity wherein you are in no profit no loss 
Now the same logic behind this problem we have used fixed cost plus variable cost will give you the selling price. Now the fixed cost is 1 lakh variable cost will vary with product so x multiplied with 100 and that is equals to x multiplied with 200 that is the selling price as per the market value and then you can easily find the value of x that is 1000 that is the number of products which typically means that when the company sells 1000 number of products it will be under break even quantity wherein it would have fetched out all whatever it has invested in that particular uh, product so these three sums have been completed and uh, now the I'd like to tell you that is again based on our economic order quantity you may take this as an example uh, wherein you will be finding the EOQ where that previous formula we have used that was EOQ is equals to under root D S multiplied by uh, under root 2 D S multiplied by IC so you can use this one uh, the question says that the ABC manufacturers produces uh, 1 lakh and 25 thousand oil seeds seals uh, each year to satisfy the requirement of their client they order the metal for pushing in a lot of 30,000 units it cost them rupees 40 to place an order the unit cost of bushing is rupees 0.12 and the estimated carrying cost is 25% of the unit cost find the economic order quantity and then what percentage of increase or decrease in order quantity is required so that the order quantity is economic order quantity now very simple the first question and this fourth question are uh, same a uh, bit the only difference in this questions is the value of i last time in the last slide the value of i was taken 100 percent as the value of i was not given and let me tell you the inventory carrying cost will be most of the time given in the problem in terms of percentage so here you can easily recognize that 25 percent uh, is basically the inventory carrying cost here annual demand will be 1,25,000 units the oil seals unit cost is 0 0.12 rupees 0 0.12 and the inventory carrying cost is 25 percent the ordering cost or you can say here the procurement cost is rupees 40 now the economic order quantity can be found by using the same formula but this time you can see in place of i we have placed 25 percent that is 0 0.25 of the unit cost so this gives us the value of economic order quantity then the percentage decrease in the ordered quantity so as the company has already ordered 30,000 units but the economic order quantity is 18,258 so we can get the percentage decrease and then the company to get in the economic order zone will have to order or reduce its order by its order 59.14% in the we here we have a revision so finally you have learned the formula for economic order quantity the formula for exponential smoothing and uh, the break even analysis sum that you can do if you like the video you can press the like and subscribe button and for any other type of technical updates you can visit us or google us at yantriki the power of machines stay tuned for more technical video updates thank you so much